Join your hands together and let us thank God because of our parents in the house in the name of Jesus. Ah, you can do better than that in the name of Jesus. I say you can do better than that in the name of Jesus. We thank God because He is a great God. Let us now join our hands because of the Almighty Father God in heaven. The Creator of heavens and earth. He who never changes. Oh, our God that never changes. Clap out of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. I say God bless you so much. We thank God because of this day that the Lord has given us this day so that we may worship together in the name of Jesus. It is not in vain that God gives you another day. Hallelujah. I say it is not in vain that God gives you another day. Oh, you had the testimonies that were here today. That there are many things that are happening here and there. There are many things that are happening even in our families. Many things happening in our villages. But God has seen it better that you be alive today. I say God has seen it better that you be alive today. That is why we need to glorify him. We need to give him thanks because he is a mighty God. Oh, hallelujah. 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 I want to tell you something before we hear the word of God. That worshiping the Lord is never in vain. No, I say worshiping the Lord is never in vain. The men and women of God that have risen to worship the Lord. They have never said they wish they knew in their life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I look at the Bible from the very beginning to the end. And I see the men and women, the men and women of God. The people that stood with the word of God. The children of God that stood with the word of God. And I, every other time I see them in success. Yes, they may go through pain. Yes, they may go through hills and mountains of this world. But I tell you what. Oh, the end product is success. Hallelujah. 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 And that is not far from you. I say that is not far from you. Because it doesn't matter how many times you have stayed in the Lord. What will come at the end will be success. Hallelujah. 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 You can name the servants of the Lord from Genesis all the way to Revelation. You can look at the likes of Joseph. You can look at the likes of David. You can look at the likes of Elijah. And all the other servants that we read them in the Bible. What we read is we read the kind of things that they go through. And I have learned that God allows us to look at the life that they went through. So that we are encouraged. So that when you reach a point of being discouraged, and you remember the servants that were like you, and who went through the pains and the tough lives that the, the way you are going at this moment of time, you get to be encouraged and you continue to move on. And every other time I read God telling them move on. Oh, move on brother my sister move on. Move on it doesn't matter what is ahead of you move on. Whether there is, whether there is an ocean or a sea the Bible says move on. And God looks at 
Jesus Moses. Na Mungu anaangalia Musa. And he looks at him and tells him why are you crying? Na anamwangalia anamuuliza unalia kwa nini? Oh hallelujah. 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 Because at that time the Israelites were in pain and they were crying. Wakati wao na Israeli walikuwa katika machungu na walikuwa wanalia. And they did not know what will happen to their lives. Na hawakujua nini kitafanyika katika maisha yao. They were in a place that the English men calls it catch 22. Walikuwa mahali ambao Wazungu wanaita Catch 22. Shika 22. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I know you know what it means. Najua unajua kinamaanisha nini. This is a place between a hard place and a rock. Hapo ni mahali pa mahali pa gumu na mawe. You 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 you, 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 don't, you don't have any, any choice to choose between the hard place and the rock. Unakosa fahamu ya kutambua kuchagua mahali pa gumu na mwamba. And therefore they were crying and they were telling Moses, why did you bring us to thee to die in this place? Na walikuwa wanalia wanaambia Musa mbona umetuleta tufie hapa? But God is saying to Moses. Lakini Mungu anamwambia Musa, move forward. Ongea mbele. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, when they look back they see the the Pharaoh's men running towards them. Walipoangalia wanaangalia nyuma na wana watu wa Farao wanawakimbilia. A great army that is prepared to kill and to destroy them. Jeshi kwa Amalek imejiandaa kuangamiza na kuwaua. And they saying, "Oh Moses, why did you bring us to die here?" Na wanasema Musa mbona umetuleta tufie hapa? And when they look ahead of them there is the ocean and the sea. Na wanapoangalia mbele yao kuna ziwa na mto. And they realize there is no way they can run to. Na wanagundua hakuna mahali pengine pa kukimbilia. Because if you run to the army they will kill you and destroy you completely. Ni kwa sababu unapokimbia nyuma watakuua na kumaliza. And when you run to the ocean you will be drowned and you will die. Na ukikimbilia ziwa utabebwa na maji. So there was no place that they could run to. Kwa hivyo hakuko na mahali pa kukimbilia. But God is telling Moses Moses move forward. Mungu anaambia Musa Musa songa mbele. This is not the time of moving back. Hausi wakati wa kurudi nyuma. This is not the time of looking back. Si wakati wa kuangalia nyuma. This is not the time of thinking of what happened long time Musi, ago. Hausi wakati wa kufikiria mambo yaliyotendeka kule. This is an opportune time of moving forward. Mungu wakati mwema wa kusonga mbele. And God is telling someone today to move forward. Na Mungu anaambia Mungu mtu leo songa mbele. I have a word that the Lord has put in me today. Ninalo neno Mungu ameweka ndani yangu leo. And the heading of the word is positioning yourself for the blessings of the Lord. Kichwa kujiweka sawa kwa sababu ya baraka za Mungu. I say positioning yourself for the blessings of the Lord. Kujipanga kwa ajili ya baraka za Mungu. And I have come to realize in the mighty name of Jesus. Na nimekundua katika jina kula Yesu. Oh hallelujah that we need to position ourselves for God to bless us. Ya kwamba inafaa tunafaa tutambue kujiweka sawa kwa sababu ya baraka za Mungu. I say you need to position yourself in order to receive the blessings of your life. Inafaa ujipange kwa sababu ya kupokea baraka za Mungu. Listen to me some You need to position your biashara so that the Lord is able to bless it. In other words, everything that you do in your daily life. You need to position them rightly for God to be able to bless them. You need to set them in a strategic place. Because many people have not received the blessings of God. Because they have been found not prepared. Because they have been found out of the position of God. In other words, they have not positioned themselves. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. And maybe you are crying every other day. Na labda kila siku nalia. You are crying every other day and you are saying, "Lord, why am I not blessed?" Unalia kila siku na unauliza Mungu, "Mbona sijabarikiwa?" It is because you have not positioned yourself. Ni kwa sababu hujajipanga. It is because you have not strategically positioned yourself. Ni kwa sababu hujajipanga vyema. And today I have a message for your life. Leo niko na utume kwa ajili ya maisha yako. You need to position yourself strategically. Unaifaa kujipanga maisha yako vyema. That is waiting to receive from the Lord. Kanisa pale linangoja kupokea kutoka kwa Mungu. I see a brother that is waiting to receive from the Lord. Mungu ambaye amejipanga kupokea kutoka kwa Bwana. A sister that is waiting to receive from the Lord Almighty. Dada ambaye amejipanga kupokea kwa Bwana wetu mkuu. He's supposed to position themselves strategically. Anafaa ajipange kivyema. Somebody is not listening in the name of Jesus. Kuna mtu alisikiliza katika jina lake. I say you are supposed to position yourself strategically. Anasema inafaa ujipange sawasawa. I was looking at it and I 
yourself Kujipanga. is connecting yourself to your destiny. We are people, we are people that are destiny connectors. There are things that are destiny connectors. So that if you position yourself strategically, the Lord connects you with your destiny connectors. So that you need not to struggle anymore. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Because when you connect yourself with them, the blessings of the Lord comes your way. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus. So, therefore, it means the church is supposed to strategically position themselves for them to receive the blessings of the Lord. Our God is always determined to bless us. I say he is always determined to bless us. Why? Because he is our father. And even if you look at the earthly father, they always think good of their children. They have good plans for their children. They want their children to get good education. After the good education, they want them to get good jobs. And they are always praying for the prosperity of their children. That is exactly how our father is. That is why Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, that I have good plans for you. I have good plans for your life. Plans to prosper you and to give you a future. That tells you that our God in heaven is always determined to bless us. But then again, you are supposed to position yourself to receive the blessings from God. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And I listen to Reverend say today. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. That he is praying for that day. So that the Lord shall come down with something in the church. And those that will be positioned strategically. Somebody is not listening in the name of Jesus. I say the brother that will be positioned strategically. Will receive on that day in the name of Jesus. Oh, and to them that shall not be prepared. Son of Timaeus. They just call him Son of Timaeus. 
Timaus. Meaning his father was Timaus. The family that he came from was Timaus. Many people call him Bartimaeus, but that is not the truth. That is not his name. Because Bar means son of. Bar in a manisha mwana wa. So this the Bible tells me about this man by the name son of Timaus. Bibinina niambia kumusu mwana wa Timaus. And it says a blind man, son of Timaus, was sitting by the road. Inasema. Let me read very fast so that we go together. A blind man, Bartimaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. The Bible says many rebuked him and told him to be quiet. But he shouted all the more, son of David, have mercy on me. The Bible says Jesus stopped and called him. So they called him, Cheer up on your feet. He is calling you. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked. Baba says, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, your faith has healed you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Now we read the story of this son of Timaus. We read the story of this man by the name son of Timaus. And we are told he was a blind man. And every other day he could sit on the side of the road. And we understand people who sit on the side of the road are always begging. And he was seated there begging from people. Because many people used to pass there and therefore he used to beg from them. And I think his family had used him to get money from many people. Because that is what I have come to realize many days happen. The people used the blind and the lame to get money from other people. So the Bible says they brought him to the road as normal. Because it was a normal thing to bring him on the road. And every other time he used to beg from the people. Give me money, give me money. Give me money, give me money. Day in, day out, Basan of Timaus was begging. A man who had no name. A man who was named by his a man who was named of his family. Someone who people look down upon him. Because of his blindness. Because he could not see. And he could not walk alone. That means he needed somebody to take him. He needed someone to direct him where to go. And the Bible says one day. He overheard people talking. And they were saying there is a man by the name Jesus. There is a man by the name Jesus. Who is passing across this road today. He will be passing through this place today. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells me son of Timaeus said this is my day. He said I have to position myself today differently. I am not going to be begging every other day the way I am used to be begging. Today I will engage a different gear. And the different gear is I will position myself strategically. So that when the Lord is passing by, I will raise my voice high. I will raise my voice high. And call upon the Son of David. And call upon the Son of God. Oh, He who has the keys of heaven. He who has the keys of heaven. He that the Bible says in Psalm 127. Close in your life. It shall be closed forever. It 
mafungo milele. Lord, he shall open the door that the key of the Lord has closed. Hakuna kifungu kitafungua ambayo Bwana amefunga. And I say no padlock shall close the door that the Lord has closed. Nasema kuna kufuli itafunga ambayo Bwana amefunga. This was the kind of thinking that Samuel but Timothy said in his life. Hayo ni mafikirio mwana wa Timothy alikuwa na katika maisha yake. And the Bible says he raised his voice higher and higher. And the Bible says there were people that were around him. The family members that were around him. Oh, they looked at him and they said, "Son of Timothy." And they said, "Son of Timothy." Stop your nonsense. Stop making noise with us here. 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 Stop
Now I'm coming here tomorrow. And they tell him, son of Timon. He that is calling you. Yes, one of Peter. He that is calling you. Yes, one of Peter. I declare in the name of Jesus. That God has given you life. Oh, that those that have been discouraging your life. Wala mama kuvunja moyo. I say those that have been discouraging your life. Wala mama kuvunja moyo. They shall come calling you. Wata kuja kwa Peter. So that you may learn for your blessing. You possess to be a better husband. Oh, they shall come calling you, my brother. Wata kuja kwa Peter. To go for your title D. When they title D, I say they shall come calling you, my sister. Wata kuja kwa Peter na rang. Those who told you you will not get a be a get employed. Wale wame kumbi a hota i ajiri. Those who said you will never get employed. Wale wame sema hota i ajiri. They shall come to you and they will say. Wata kuja kwa kono wa seme. Reverend, your letter of employment is here. Kasi si mara ya kwa kwa ndi kwa kwa. Oh my brother, your letter of employment is here. Nuku yangu mara kwa kwa ndi kwa kwa. Why? Because you are positioning yourself. Nikuwa sababu ni mji panga. To receive from the Lord. Kupoka kutoka kwa bwana. And the Bible tells me. Bibili na niambi. The naysayers behind son of Timaos. Wale wale kwa na sema mona Timaos. Are the ones that are coming to say son of Timaos. Hando la kuja na mami ya mona Timaos. He is calling you. Ala kuita. He is calling you. Muna itua. And the Bible tells me. Na bibili na niambi. Timaos son of Timaos rises up. Mwana tima akainuka. And he runs to Jesus. Na namkimbia Yesu. And Jesus asked him, "Man, what do you need?" Na Yesu anamuuliza, "Mtu unahitaji nini?" What do you want me to do for you? Unahitaji nikufanyie nini? What do you want me to do for you? Unahitaji nikutendee nini? The Bible says, "Son of Tima who says." Bibili inaniambia mwana tima akasema, "Oh, I want to see." Oh, nataka nione. I want to see. Nataka nione. I want to see my job. Nataka kuona. I want to see my job. Nataka kuona kazi yangu. I want to see my title D. I want to see my car. Oh, I want to see. Oh, I want to see. And the Bible says, Jesus declares to the Son of the Man that your faith has healed you. Your faith has healed you. And the young man receives his healing. And he runs away rejoicing. Positioning yourself kujipanga to receive god's blessing in the mighty name of jesus i again read in the bible in the book of luke chapter 19 luke chapter 19 and verse number 1 mstari wa kwanza a story of a very short man hadithi ya mtu mfupi by the name sakius jina za kayo the bible says in luke 19 verse 1 biblia inasema luke chapter 19 verse 1 that sakius was a wealthy man yes sakius alikuwa mtu mfupi and he had accumulated a lot of wealth from his tax collecting job na alikuwa amepokea mali nyingi kutoka kutoka kwa kuchukua and one day he had that Jesus son of God was passing by na siku moja akasikia kama bwana wa Mungu anapita and he was interested in seeing Jesus na alikuwa na hamu ya kumwona Yesu oh hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah the short man was interested in seeing Jesus mtu mfupi alikuwa anatamani kumwona Yesu because he had realized that Jesus was passing by na kwamba aligundua Yesu anapita i told you my brother nilikwambia ndugu yangu that those that receive the blessings of the lord na kwamba wale wapokea baraka za bwana people that put that position themselves na watu ambao wanajipanga they strategically position themselves wanajipanga sawa sawa to receive from the lord kutoka kwa bwana to receive from the lord kutoka kwa bwana and i look at the short man naangalia mtu mfupi oh he was a very short man alikuwa mtu mfupi zaidi he was so short that he could not see jesus alikuwa mfupi hadi angeweza kumwona yesu in the midst of the crowd lakini kati ya umati he will not see jesus because of his bluffness angemwona yesu ni kwa sababu ya kimo chake and the bible says biblia inasema sakius made up with my is mind zakayo akaamua and he said my shortness cannot deter me from seeing jesus na akasema ufupi wangu hautaamuru kumwona yesu i have to take a step of positioning myself lazima nichukua hatua kujipanga my brother you have to position yourself ndugu yangu unahitaji kujipanga my sister you have to position yourself dada yangu unahitaji kujipanga church you have to position yourself kanisa unahitaji kujipanga oh and sakius tells tells his mind zakayo anaambia watu wake he tells his mind anaambia maaso yake no i am not going to be deterred to see jesus because of shortness oh sitazuliwa kumwona yesu kwa sababu ya kimo changu oh hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah hallelujah it is possible that there are things that are deterring you from receiving the blessing of the lord na kwamba ni wazi kwamba kuna mambo ambayo yanakuzuia kumwona bwana it is possible there are things that are deterring you from receiving the blessing of the lord ni wazi kuna vitu zinakuzuia kumwona 
bwana bwana but i tell you what my sister lakini nakwambia nini dada you have to position yourself you need to position yourself you are shut you have to position yourself kama vertically kama wewe ni mfupi unafaa ujipange vyema in the mighty name of our lord jesus katika jina kula yesu because those that do not position themselves do not receive kwamba wale wasiojipanga wapokei they do not receive hawapokei the bible says he therefore had to position himself biblia inasema kwamba alihitaji kujipanga and he eventually made a decision na mwisho akafanya uamuzi to climb a sycamo tree kupanga mti wa mkumo i look at people that were around him na angalia watu ambao walikuwa kando naye and they were wondering why is the old man climbing up the hill that tree na walikuwa wanashangaza mbona huyu mtu aliamua kupanda mti not normal for a man to climb up a tree this is kawaida mtu kupanda mti it is not normal for a man to climb up the tree this is kawaida mtu kupanda mti but listen to me nisikize zacchaeus knew a different thing zakayo alijua kitu tofauti he knew that he was not never going to see jesus alijua hata hataenda kumwona yesu he was not going to position himself strategically kama hatajipanga sawa sawa in the mighty name of jesus na jina kula yesu and there boy takes up na anachukua hatua kubwa and he climbs up the tree na anapanda mti and he stays waiting for Jesus na anakaa kimngoja Yesu and i see Jesus passing by na naona Yesu akipita i see Jesus passing by na Yesu akipita and when he reaches where there is a sycamore tree na anapofika katika huo mti he looks up at the tree na anaangalia mti and he says succulus na anasema zakayo and he says succulus zakayo shuka chini come down shuka chini because today mambo leo i shall be in your house nitakuwa katika nyumba yako i shall dwell in your house nitakaa nyumbani mwako i shall dwell in your house nitakaa kwa nyumba yako oh i hear people that were around him nasikia watu walio kwa kando naye the obvious naysayers watu wa kawaida ambao walikuwa nasema they started speaking walianza kusema and they started saying na wakaanza kusema oh he wants to stay in a sinner's house anataka kuwa katika nyumba ya mwenye dhambi he wants to stay in a sinner's house anataka Listen to me somebody. Is kill them too. They did not know. Hawakujua. That Sakius had prepared himself. Yakob Sakayo alikuwa amejipanga. And had strategically stationed himself. Na alikuwa amejiweka sawa sawa. To receive from the Lord. Pokea kutoka kwa Bwana. The Bible tells me. Biblia inaniambia. That Sakius was a very rich man. Sakayo alikuwa mtu tajiri. He was a very wealthy man. Alikuwa mtu tajiri. And he had a lot of wealth. Na alikuwa na mali mingi. But I tell you what? Lakini nakwambia nini? even with the world hata kama hata na mali without the blessings of the lord bila baraka za mungu that is nothing hiyo ni bure so sakius realized sakayo akagundua but even if i have the all the wealth of this world hata kama nina mali ya dunia hii i have the cars and everything of this world na magari yote hii ulimwangu i don't have the blessings of the lord lakini sina baraka za bwana it is still equals to zero hii ni sawa na bure i say the things of this world na kwambia vitu za dunia hii minus the jesus of our lord god Yesu ya Bwana Mungu equals to zero. Ni sawa na bure. And therefore Sakius realized. Kwa hivyo Zakayo akagundua. But with all this thing that I have. Pamoja na hizi ambazo ninazo. I am connecting myself with Jesus. Bila kujiungaliza na Yesu. It is going to be zero. Nitakuwa ni bure. And therefore I have to receive Jesus. Kwa hivyo nafanya nimpokee Yesu. That is why he had to climb a sycamore tree. Hivyo ndio sababu alipali alifaa kupanda mti. He said even with my wealth I don't care. Alisema hata na mali yangu sijijali. I have to receive the blessings of Jesus. I have to receive from our Lord Jesus. And that is why he climbed up the tree. And Jesus is saying, "Come down." Come down, my brother. Today, today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. Today, I am going to receive from the Lord. That Jesus is going to say Ya kwamba Yesu atasema You shall dwell in your house Ataka nyumbani mwako Because when Jesus dwells in your house Kwa sababu Yesu anapokea mwako Every mountain that was in your life Kila mlima ndani ya maisha yako is going to be flattened Inaenda kuwekwa tambarare It's going to be flattened Itaenda kuwekwa tambarare We have a bulldozer by the name Jesus Kuna bulldozer jina lake ni Yesu It is he is a bulldozer You bulldozer Who is not detained by the stones of this world Ama isuliwe na mambo ya dunia hii He is not this Ah, is stand by the blocks of this world. As we live in na mipango ya dunia hii. He is going to flatten them. Anaenda kuziweka when you position yourself. Unapojipanga. Chat when you position yourself. Kabisa unapojipanga. God is 
looking for someone that have strategically positioned themselves so they may receive from one Lord so they may receive the blessings of our Lord God the Bible tells me that after Jesus had gone to his house there is one thing that he received he received salvation because Jesus said salvation is now in your house in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we read another man in the Bible from the book of Acts chapter number 3 hallelujah hallelujah from the book of Acts chapter number 3 and from verse number 1 we read a story of someone in the Bible the Bible says one day Peter and John were going up to the temple at the time of prayer now the Bible says a man who was crippled from birth was being carried to the temple game which is called the beautiful game where he was put every day to beg from those going into into the temple the bible says when he saw Peter and John who are about to enter he asked them for money. Peter looked straight at him and said, Look at us. So the man gave them his attention, expecting to get something from them. Listen to me, the people of God. There is a story that we all know. And there was this very crippled man. And that thing that I am realizing that many times people who are crippled or have issues they are not given names I don't know whether you are looking at this trend the society does not give them names because they don't deserve to be given a name because they are they are they are, they are, they are, they are, they are seen as useless they are seen as useless that is why from the son of Batimaus who was a blind man to this very crippled man here though he had no name in fact they say a crippled man oh hallelujah that tells you it is possible people have not given you names listen to me somebody it is possible that society has not given you names in other words they don't regard you as some, somebody precious in other words they don't regard you they see you as useless they see you as nothing they see you as not an important person but my brother let me tell you something when you position yourself oh you are given a new name God gives you a new name because the old is gone and, and now a new thing is happening the status that you did not have when you learn to position yourself to receive from the Lord the Lord returns and gives you back that status so I see a man that had no status a man that was rejected even by the society a man that was carried there to go and beg every other day he could beg in the beautiful gate he was there begging from everyone that entered into the temple listen to me they could not even take him into the temple oh, I say they could not even take him into the temple they just blessed him in the beautiful gate so he could see the dignitaries entering into the temple 
people going to receive their blessings. The people going to receive their portions. And I say again, the people going to receive their blessings. I see a dejected man. I see a, 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 a discouraged man. Seated on the booty will get begging. Oh, give me money, give me money. Everything that you have, I will take it. He ten cents or ten coins, I will take it. Ah, 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 was there begging. He had issues with his legs. The legs were crippled and therefore he could not walk. And the Bible says it during the 3 p.m. And this was a time when men and women of God used to go to the temple to worship the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. My brother and my sister. Position themselves. Know that there is a time to worship the Lord. Listen to me. Those that position themselves. Know that there is a time to leave every other thing and worship the Lord. They know that there is a time to close your business and worship the Lord. They know that there is a time to leave everything and go and worship the Lord. They know that there is a time to leave everything and go and worship the Lord. Ambalikuwa na umba katika ulewa 
But now tables had turned. Now tables had turned. The very crippled man. He's now praising God. He's now praising God. He's now praising God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Those that are going to position themselves. They shall receive their success. They shall receive their blessing. They shall receive their healing. I declare to someone today. That is going to position themselves. That the blessings of the Lord shall locate them from where they are. But when he did it, the time when he positioned himself, oh, the Jesus located him wherever he was. Oh, in the beautiful gate where he was. In the very normal place where he was. Jesus located him with his blessing. Because he had positioned himself. I say because he had positioned himself. I declare today in the name of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> 